Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be building a bee trap, specifically for carpenter bees. Now I've got a huge problem on our front porch as well as the back and it's covered. So it's got a roof over the back porch and it seems like every day during the summer we go out there and there'll be a new pile of sawdust on the porch falling from the roof. They're also chewing away at the railings. I'm really getting sick of them buzzing around constantly as well as chewing up our porch. So I'm gonna build a trap that looks nice, but also is effective and I can hang on the front of the house as well as the back and not really mess up the look of the house too much. Now I built one last year and this is the one that I built. I just basically screwed two two by fours together and put a plastic bottle underneath just to test it out, see if it actually worked. And it works really well. So I'm gonna make a couple more that look better so I can take this one down and show you guys how that looks. Now what I did to make this look a little bit better than the first one is I went to the store and grabbed some glass bottles. I grabbed some IBC black cherry soda. Now it doesn't matter what kind of soda you get, it's really all about the bottle. I wanted some glass bottles so that it looks a little bit better than the plastic because it will be hanging up on the front corner of the house as well as the back porch. I don't wanna be staring at a plastic bottle. So I grabbed some glass bottles that look a little bit nicer and I also wanted clear bottle. You don't want to get a dark brown or uh, green or something like that. It might not attract the bees as well because what happens is the bee will climb up into the hole you've already pre-drilled. They'll see the light at the bottom of the hole. They'll climb down into the bottle and then they'll get stuck. Now, the reason why you want a narrow neck bottle is because their wingspan is too wide to fly back out. I've actually seen other bees come into the trap and get back out. I saw a hornet. Um, and then I think a yellow jacket fly into the bottle and be able to escape because they're a little bit smaller. They can fly up to the top, grab on and climb out. But the, the carpenter bees get stuck in there. And so that's why you need a narrow neck bottle. And also I have a, just a scrap piece of four by four here. Instead of using two two by four screwed together, obviously I was just throwing it together. It doesn't look good. This will look a lot better and can hang up a lot easier. So I'll show you guys how to build this. Um, the nice thing about this trap is you're not trapping honeybees, you're not trapping all sorts of different types of bees, it's just the ones that are causing damage to your house or your property. This is great for carpenter bees. So I'll get started and show you guys what I've got. So I've got my two blocks here. These should work just fine for the bee traps. All right, now I've got my bottle here. I've got my blocks ready to go. I have my drill bit that should be about the right size it looks like, but I'm gonna test it out before going and chopping up my blocks right here. That's perfect. This drill bit works just right. I wanted this lip on the end of the bottle to be able to fit perfectly into that. And I'm gonna put a set screw into the side that'll catch right on that lip and keep it from sliding out. All right, now I've got this drilled out about three or so inches, two and a half inches into the block of wood here. And I'm gonna take now a half inch drill bit and I'm gonna be drilling a hole about 45 degree angle up into the block. So you don't wanna do it in the middle or else you'll probably come out the top. You wanna start a little bit lower and work your way up towards the top of this hole. 
Now this is a half inch drill bit. The first time I tested it out, I thought that might be too small, but I didn't want to go too large either, but this actually works perfectly. I gotta drill this bottom hole a little bit deeper to line up perfectly with this hole right here. Now let me show you here what we've got. Here's the top, that's the front, and here's the bottom. Now this is the hole right here that you will see at the bottom that you put the bottle into. Now this goes up in about two and a half, almost three inches into the bottom of this block. Now at the bottom, you can see almost right there, you can see some light coming in right there. That's this other hole right here going in at about a 45 degree angle into this hole. Now you can't quite see, I'll turn on my light here, but that hole going in is coming perfectly perfectly level with this hole on the top. Now what happens is the bees will climb in through this hole, which is the natural size that they drill up into this hole. They'll see light at the bottom of the tunnel right here in that glass bottle. They'll climb into the bottle, fall at the bottom and get stuck. going to be adding in a set screw to hold the bottom inside. All right, see I've got the set screw flush right here. I have some distance that I can still screw in farther. So what I wanna do is cut off that flush on the inside to make sure that it's not too long. Now I've got this screw here. Now what you don't wanna do is leave the point on here. This probably with a small point in pressure on this bottle could cause it to break crack through the glass so you don't want that to happen so I'm going to cut this off try to make a little bit flatter surface and file this down a little bit all right now I should be able to put these bottles in here I have the set screw ready, and with that set screw in there, I can tighten this down. And you honestly, you really do not want to tighten this down hardly at all, or else it can snap the glass. So just right when you make contact, that's when you stop, and it won't let the glass out. So again, all I'm gonna do, screw this in, until I make contact, that's contact right there. I'll back out just a tiny bit and that will spin, but it won't let the bottle out. This one I need to loosen a little bit more. So the bottle will spin, but it won't let the bottle out. That's what you're going for. And what we have here is the bottle. The set screw, if you ever need to empty this out, this will fill up and you want to dump these guys out after a little bit. So you just take out that set screw, this can come out, you can dump them out and put in the bottle or put in a different bottle when you're done with that one. There's the hole for the beast to come into, the hole that they get trapped in. And then I drill the hole straight through just so that this doesn't split or anything. And I have this long screw that can 
screw through and get about an inch into the wood behind it. That's all it needs. This isn't very heavy. You don't have to have two screws and go overboard with this. This should be plenty to hold its weight up. So I've got that and then basically same thing to put it back in. You push it in all the way and then again, I can't stress this enough. You don't want to tighten this down super tight or even tight at all, what you do is you just go till you make contact with the glass. I saw the bottle move a little bit and you just back up a little bit and there you go. The bottle's loose in here, but it's catching on that lip. It won't let it out and that's perfectly safe. All right, now all I need to do is go hang them up and show you guys what they look like. Now this is by far the most fun way to kill these carpenter bees, but it takes a lot of time. If you've got time to sit on your porch, just make a bee bat and smack them around. Now I'm gonna take out the old trap, install the new ones, and show you guys what that looks like, as well as about a week later, the progress it gets catching these bees. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So help me out if you did like this video, hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe if you have not already. And if you have any suggestions or comments for future videos, you could leave those down below in the comment section on this video. So that finishes up my video for today. The bees are already interested in it and testing it out. A week later, I have about six or seven in these bottles, so it's working really well. Also, a quick update to my viewers. I just started a Patreon page that you guys can use as a tool to help support my channel. If you feel like you can do that, all this money will be going towards my future videos, helping me pay for materials and all the video editing, everything, all the time that goes into this. So if you want to see more videos coming down the line and a lot of cool projects, go to my Patreon page and check that out. There's also a lot of really cool perks that I'll be offering for the different tiers. Things like chats with me on there. I'll be active getting back to your comments and questions. I am going to be starting to do some live stream events for my supporters on their updates that only they will see on that channel. Some giveaways and prizes that I'm going to be doing. Now there's a ton more options on there that I'll be doing as well. So go check that out if that's interesting to you guys. I have that available now. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see how this grows. Thanks guys. This finishes up this video today. I hope to see you guys in the next one.